Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add Facebook ads or uh, audience network ads to your Expo React Native app. So first I'm just setting up my Expo project and choosing a blank template. And then I'll install the um, Facebook ads um, Expo package and open the folder that I've created. So now that that's done, I can create an app in the Facebook developers console. You need a business account because you want to use the audience network or um, Facebook ads. So once it's created, you want to set up audience network. And then you'll add iOS and Android. You can skip this step and the payment details. So this is mediation. It um, Audience Network allows for mediation, which basically allows different ad networks to bid against each other so that you get the highest bid amount showing in your app. And so it gives you more chance of being more profitable. So it's quite a cool feature of Audience Network. And you'll want to create some placement IDs, so a banner and an interstitial ad is what I'm going to show you today, just because they're quite commonly used ad types. Sorry if there's a bit of background noise. So now I add Android, once again can skip the first two steps. And I don't have a mediation um, platform that I want to show you today, but if you want to see it another time, let me know in the comments. Creating my interstitial and better ad once again, so I'll get the placement IDs. Cool. And now I want to copy and paste this config into my app.json. You'll want to change the app ID to match the app ID of app the app ID of the app you've just created. And change the app name, display name to match your app name. Cool, so I'm going to want to add a button instead of text because that's what I'm going to click on to show my interstitial. And I also want to use the platform to differentiate whether it's iOS or Android for different placement IDs. I'm also going to use some uh, React state. So what I'm going to use that for is to determine whether to show my um, banner ad because you'll need to set the advertiser tracking preferences of the user because some users might not allow you to track them. That's an iOS feature and you'll need to cater for that. So I'm going to create a function soon to get placement ID and I'll pass in whether it's a banner ad or not. So I also forgot to import, so I need to import React because I'm using um, React State. And I also want to import the Facebook ads. So now I'm going to show you how to get your placement ID. So 
So now I want to get my placement ID. So I want to go if it's a banner ad. So if it's a banner ad, I want to check if it, the platform's iOS. And if it is, I'll get, uh, set the value to be my iOS um, banner ad placement ID, which you can, you've can you set up already on uh, the Facebook monetization manager. And if it's not... Uh, um, iOS, then obviously I'll return the Android one. And if it's a dev environment, you need to prefix your um, placement ID with this sort of demo um, tag. And I'll show you how to do that. You go to the Facebook Expo documentation and go to the demo ad type table. And it'll give you some ad type IDs. So yeah, I'm just going to choose one that's for banner and interstitial to make things simple. Okay, I don't really care what's displaying, I just want to check that my integration's working. And then you'll put your placement ID. If it's not um, a dev environment, then you'll just return this placement ID and it'll show real ads. But you need to make sure you've um, set up your payments first. Um, and also, it might take a while for Facebook or Meta to verify. Okay, so now I'm going to create my button to show the interstitial. So I'll give that a title of show interstitial. And I'll go ahead and create that function. So I want to use the interstitial ad manager to show the ad and I'll pass in my interstitial ad ID. These are optional, um, basically it will let you do things if the user clicks on an ad or if the user, if there's an error loading the ad for some reason. So uh, one of the most common errors would be like no fill and that could be just your setup um, or maybe a slight error in your code because I did notice that in my own code and I'll show you that a bit later. So now I want to um, complete my get placement ID by putting in the uh, placement IDs rather than just empty strings. Once again, sorry about the background noise. There is a lot of people here. Um, got a baby and about five adults sort of living in this household at the moment. So quite a lot going on, quite a lot of background noise. Cool, so then now that that's done, I'm going to want to get the permissions. So if the user has already um, selected whether they want to allow tracking or not, then this will return what is the permission rather than 
um, requesting the user gives permission again. It'll only allow it to request once. Um, but you can go, um, users can change that if they want to in the add settings. So I want to check that it's that permission is granted. And then I want to set the um, advertiser tracking enabled. So in the documentation on Expo, it says set advertising tracking enabled. So I was having a few issues there for a little while. Then I want to set is loaded to true because I've set my advertiser tracking enabled now. And my app should be able to handle ads. So I want to display the banner ad and I'll show you that in a minute. So I want to create a function for getting banner ads because I want to um, optionally return it if if it's loaded, basically if the tracking enabled is set. So pass in a placement ID. You can do some console logs. Um, these are optional, but um, it allows you to do anything you sort of want if there's an error or if the user presses on an ad. So cool, now that I've got that, I can add that to my component here. I'm going to wrap my button in a content container and that's because I want that to take up most of the height of the screen because um, Banner ads typically are displayed at the bottom of the screen, and so that's what the user's used to. You don't need to do it like this. You can really put it wherever it's just what a lot of people do. So I'm doing flex one so that it fills the um, vertical once my banner ad's in place. And I want to center it, all my content inside it. I'm also going to create an ad view so that my um, my banner ad sort of starts at the start of the um, of the view rather than in the middle. So I'll show you what I mean there soon. So I have a view, style, add view. And then I want to get my banner ad. Cool, I think that's everything. So now I can save and run. So it's started and loading up now. Cool, and so you get this request for permission and if you allow it, you can, oh, okay. So I've got an error here. It looks like I forgot to pass the error parameter to my on error function. So here we go, I'll go fix that up. That should be pretty easy to fix up. Okay, so my banner ad's not showing, I'm not sure why, but you can see it's sort of 
there it is possible to display ads but it's a bit inconsistent so I'm just going to have a look at my code I've I have noticed a few errors along the way. I'm going to go fix those up. Cool. So now I'm going to go fix those issues up. Um, the first is I actually need to use the status of the permissions. The permissions is an object. And I need to check the status is granted. So that's one thing I need to fix up. Another is that I've actually passed in the type rather than the placement ID. So I want to pass in the placement ID and give this banner ad a type. So now when I save, you should see I've got a banner ad. And I, if I click show interstitial, it shows an interstitial. But my banner ad's looking a bit funky, so let's fix that up. So what you're going to want to do is stretch this out. You want to stretch out that ad view to fill up that entire um, bottom and then you should be good. So look, it all works now. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. And if you have anything else you want related to this, please add a comment. See you guys next time.